So when you're testing a circuit breaker, you want to look. So this is the HVAC system here. This one has the whip, which is going here. One of the whips is going to be coming from the panel. One of them is going to the unit. The whip that is going to the unit is called the load side. The whip that is coming from the panel is called the line side. Okay. The unit pulls a load that's why they call it load side this is how you test this power is always going to be sitting on the load side if you notice we have one whip coming out of here there's one leg and there's the second leg so on the top when you test volts with your meter you should have 240 volts on these two screws if the breaker is on you should have 240 volts on those two screws in this particular instance we had 240 volts here the breaker was on and we only had 90 volts here okay so one of the legs is likely bad what you can do to test that is test what we call line to ground Okay, if you test the line side, you test them both together. That's called line to line. In this case, you'd have 240 volts. Line to ground is testing one of the lines and putting the other lead from your voltmeter on a ground. In this case, you would have 120. Then you would test the other side, the other line to ground and you would have 120. If you test the bottom of the breaker, which is the load side, both of them together, you should have 240. In this case, we had 90. When we tested one of them, line to ground, we only had a small amount of volts. And then on the other side, we you should have 120 and 120, which would equal 240. In this case, one of the legs was bad so you have to replace the circuit breaker so that's how you test these breakers if you have any questions just leave them in the comments i'll try my best to answer them and subscribe to this channel for any other hvac troubleshooting questions all right have a good day